Here's part four of our CNIB's Employment Skills Bootcamp, Preparing for Work. Twelve students, one week, all expenses paid, equipping them for their employment journey. Hi, my name is Ted Bonar. I'm the program lead with the Career Support and Employment Program with CNIB Foundation, and welcome to the Employment Skills Bootcamp. The Independent Living Workshop is to teach participants how to prepare for their day on the job. It is important because it prepares them for the world of work. The teacher of this class is Kathy Culhane, and she's the best teacher to teach this class because she is a very independent woman with sight loss. My name is Kathy Culhane. I'm an Independent Living Skills Specialist so how to dress for success. So being able to organize your wardrobe into different sort of sections. So you might want to do a casual section, you might want to do a business casual section, and maybe a little bit more on the formal side. Most offices are business casual, and that means no jeans, no ripped shirts. And with organizing your wardrobe, go from light to dark. If there's a special blouse that you wear with a skirt, you can also put that together on a hanger. Same with the tie and a dress shirt, you can put the tie around the hanger on top of that shirt so that when you go to find it the next morning, it's there. So they want to make sure that everything is cleaned, uh, no stains, um, that they are able to kind of match their clothes and their shoes so they're not wearing different shoes or different colored socks. If they have a stain on their shirt, they can either put like a piece of tape or something tactile on their shirt. So they know if they forget that when they go to do laundry, they know, oh right, this is that stain that was on my shirt. Um, also just even just doing a pre-soak or um, adding um, any type of stain remover to your, to your wash never hurts. For laundry, I always get a white laundry basket and then you can put all your white clothes in that basket. You can do a, a black laundry basket and put all your dark colors in that and then maybe do another basket that's a different color and put all your towels. But if you're totally blind, then just knowing my white basket's gonna be on the left, my middle dark basket's in the middle, and then my towel basket's gonna be on the right and always just keeping it in that sequence. And laying out your clothes the night before really saves time in the morning, uh, making sure they're showered, shaved, a gentleman had asked me about if you have long hair and you're a guy, well, maybe putting it in a ponytail just like a girl. Cologne and perfume and things like that, just doing a spritz, walk through it, because if you're smelling it, it's way too strong. So clients can use FaceTime, so they can call a friend or a family member and just double check that everything looks good, if their makeup looks good, uh, if their hair is looking good. Um, and there's also Be My Eyes app, which they can also access, where volunteers can also give that same advice and let them know if they um, look good and if they're matching. Also with making your lunches, knowing how to make your lunch. You know, you don't show up every day assuming that there's somewhere to go buy your food. So knowing how to actually put a sandwich together, a salad together, and taking it to work. One of the things that I would like for them to take away from my class would be knowing that they can be as independent as possible, that they do possess those skills to become independent, and just being a little bit more assertive in asking for things. So what is the tire? Where is the lunchroom? You know, can you pour my water for me? Things like that. I just want them to know that they are just as independent as anybody else and that they, they do possess those skills. If people want to learn more, they can reach out to, to us at CNIB by logging onto our website at cnib.ca or visiting ami.ca.